As some of you may know, I've been using the ModRave app exclusively for the past one and a half years. Essentially, from the moment it came out, until a few weeks ago, I was solely using the ModRave launcher for everything related to Minecraft. Then, a few weeks back, I started the launcher test, which is my series where I attempt to test every single Minecraft launcher to eventually find the best one, just because I want to see what else is out there. But outside of that, the ModRimf app has been my go-to for a long time now. And a few days ago, ModRimf finally dropped an update that we knew was coming, we just didn't really know when, but now it's here, and it could actually affect the outcome of the launcher test series. It could. Potentially, because finally it's here, a feature so many people have been asking for for such a long time, the Motorin Vap now has a skin changer. And it looks really solid. And here it is! Look at that! Do keep in mind that it is still in beta. Some bugs could still occur, but I've tested it a little bit and it works really well. So first thing I want to say, I love the animation. I love the way your character is just moving there, sitting there. It does like a little idle animation every once in a while. It's so clean. It looks so lively. Then you got your little username here above your skin. You can move your skin around. You can see your cape. And of course, it is a skin changer. So you can very easily change your skin here. We just got the default skins that Mojang provides, like Steve and Alex and Ari and Eve, of course. But we also got a bunch of fodder skins here, like Cake Steve. Because, of course, Creeper Piñata Cosplayer. Yes, so a whole bunch of pretty clean-looking skins you can choose from, which is awesome. I also love the animation. Like, when you hover it, it will turn around. And if you have a cape selected, you can see what cape you're actually wearing at that moment. We can also click on Add a Skin, which simply allows us to, to upload the skin. Ah, uh, looking for a skin for this video. Which one should we... What is that? <laughs> Why does that duck not have pants? Why does it have 400 likes? Squid Game Guard Square. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Oh, that's clean. So now here we have the skin. Fully animated and lively. We can choose the art style of the arms. So do you want it white or slim? Of course, depends on what your skin was designed for. And then here we can, we can choose a cape. So the default cape, I think that's the one you just have selected currently. But we can also click on more, which will open my full cape library and and now I can just pick one here. Now I think this is a bug. I'm pretty sure as soon as I select a cape here, it should pop up on the back of this model. It's not doing that currently, but like mentioned before, it's still in beta. It's still early days. But instead of adding a new skin, something we can also do is simply edit my current skin. And I'm pretty sure I can just change capes here. But let's select the Twitch cape. Now it's okay. Now it's changed. That is awesome though. I do have to say, this is one of the cleanest implementations I've ever seen for a skin changer. This is, in my humble opinion, cleaner than the skin switcher in the vanilla Minecraft launcher. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. I mean, it definitely works. It also has a little walking animation. And when you click on the three dots and then edit, you can change your cape over here. It works fine. It doesn't look bad by any means. But in my opinion, it's not on the same level as this. It is really, really clean. And I absolutely love it. Now, I I'm very hyped to see that Modrinf is now adding new features to their launcher. Ever since their launcher were released, approximately one and a half years ago, they've not really added a whole lot of features to it. They did completely refresh their launcher at some point, and they also added the jump back in section, which allows you to immediately hop into a Minecraft world you were previously in. And that's really clean, but outside of that, no big features. This is the first big one, and it is a very big one, because ever since I started testing more more Minecraft launchers with the launcher test, I noticed that a lot of launchers don't have any skin switcher whatsoever. And if they do, it is usually either very limited in functionality or it just doesn't look that clean. In Mudrim's case, it has both a lot of functionality and it also looks very clean. I really hope that this is a first glimpse of what's to come. The skin switcher is awesome. It's an amazing feature. I hope they will keep expanding their app, adding more features in the future. Like for example, 
example, being able to manage your ModRamp server through the ModRamp app. That would be kind of cool. But overall, a very clean implementation of a skin switcher. I really like it. Now, do let me know in the comments down below what you think about the new skin switcher. And with that being said, that's got to be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.